it as far as the punters are concerned as well. Uh, well supported on its uh, race day debut, the uh, son of Savabeel. So two, seven, eight and four, my numbers for the fifth on the card, the jump jockeys send it. I uh, see a few of the jump jockeys here enjoying the day on course too. <laughs> yes, they are. They are uh, on course. And <laughs> oh, look, Julie Kuru's ready to, to tear it apart, isn't he? He's, he's ready to go. D doesn't he look like that? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, jumps boys are not far away from it. I've just seen that vision as well. So, uh, yeah. they're loading away. All right, we'll uh, jump we'll get it to George it. anyway for his call, race number five. Yeah, a warm welcome to the jump jockeys on course today. Enjoying themselves, no doubt. As the last one is about to come in, Platinum Road, 1300 metres. We're set to go. River rising in one. Let's go. Gates open, they're off. Another good level line it was too. Nothing compares out wide. Was one of the first away. Excitonic is, uh, has landed handy as well with Sig Positano and uh, going forward Wild West in search of the lead and will take it. Settling fifth, the River Rising being passed now by Easy Rider out deeper. Right there also is Rhapsody in blue. Two links away Mirandello from Red Hussar back near the tail. With it also was Platinum Road and the tail ender is a Princess Katharina. Inside the 800 metres mark they go and take over Wild West by three quarters of a length from Nothing Compares. Out three wide on speed, Easy Rider. Right in behind the mix, I Tonic and Sig Positano is next. Two lengths away then to Rhapsody in Blue from River Rising. Then Mirandello, Red Hussar, Platinum Road and the tail end of Princess Katharina. Up towards a home turn, 450 to run. Pacemaker is Wild West from Nothing Compares the outside. Out a bit deeper is Easy Rider coming widest now, Rhapsody in Blue and behind the mix, I Tonic looks Looking for a space has got held up there. Out wide, Mirandello's looming into it as well at the 200 metres. Rhapsody in blue, the leader. And Mirandello on the outside, battling on. Still as Wild West. It's uh, Rhapsody in blue in charge for Michael McNabb, and he'll get a double today. Rhapsody in blue won it. Wild West second, Excitonic third. Photos for fourth between either Easy Rider or the late finishing Sig Positano. And behind those next, uh, we had an unlucky horse there. Excitonic never really saw daylight up the home straight with the was Red Hussar, nothing compares uh, with River Rising, Platinum Road, and also there as well was Princess Katharina. Number seven, Rhapsody in Blue, will give Michael McNabb a double for the day. And Jamie Richards picks up at least his third on the program that I can remember. And he gets another one here with Rhapsody in Blue for the Fortuna Rhapsody in Blue syndicate. And the filly by Daglia Doro has joined in at precisely the right time at about the 200 and she kept up a strong gallop in the run to the post. Rhapsody in blue will break through for the win in the hands of Michael McNabb. Uh, it's been a good go for the Miners. Wild West Mirandello was there and then it's a photo for that fourth position but in the end number seven Rhapsody in blue will take out the fifth on the card. Yep, there's the one for forgive punters, ones that uh, wanted to Give this horse another chance. She looked like she presented it at Matamata and just didn't go ping as expected off the back of that very good trial at Titeko. And she pings today. Jamie Richards, Michael McNabb, Teeman. Good vein of form at the moment. And Rhapsody in blue wins. Jed, it's a race we want to look at a couple of times. There's a couple of unluckies. Excitonic, uh, it was one of them. Sig Positano. Get a big crown out and write that in your race book for a next upper. Then get on... Uh, the TAB favourites as well. All right, uh, we'll grab you, John. Yeah, nice work. Uh, uh, a forgive from last start, and today she produces and uh, does a nice job. Yes, yes. We weren't quite sure what to expect today, uh, given that it was on a good three track, and she'd, her two previous runs have been on heavier tracks. Um, did disappoint us a little bit last time, but probably just the heavy track. So today she gets a good surface, and uh, she's showing what she's capable of. You're right. Good signs going forward, and uh, no doubt a horse that you'll be looking to try and get to a, a race like a thousand guineas. Is that the ultimate goal in the, in the spring? It, it could be. We really wanted to get through to, to today first, just to give us an assessment. Uh, we really like this horse. She's got a lovely pedigree, and she's showing us a lot. But uh, we'll see how she pulls up and make a plan from there. Exciting run early in the day too from leaderboard in race number two. Yeah, very pleased with his run. Um, a typical European stayer, far too short for him, but. Um, He'll go to a mile next time, and we'll see what we get. Right. Well done here, John, and good luck tomorrow. Thank you. That's uh, John Galvin.
Talking about uh, the effort of number seven in Rhapsody in blue, the Fortuna Syndicate. They cash in here at start number three. Fortuna Rhapsody in blue Syndicate. Seven wins. Seven, six, eight, one, and five. Seven, six, eight, one, and five. Those numbers across the line. All right, and Gary Walsh. He's in there. He's looking after things. <laughs> Fannin's here. Feeling. They all want to get a piece of the action. And uh, we'll see if we can try and get past the, the big ownership group. No, enjoy it. Enjoy it. And uh, we'll uh, we'll see if we can get to Michael McNabb. You all right, Sean? Sean, you all right? You, you injury okay? Yeah, you all right? Okay, that's good. All right, he's, he's all good. Um, right, we'll need to try and get to Michael McNabb. After the victory, of course, with Lilikoy, and now gets another one here.